Welcome to this week's edition of Center Circle. I'm Jordan Fort. Now, the idea of going pro is a dream of most sporting personalities, but maximizing your full potential can sometimes be challenging. Omar Holness knows this, as he has had his fair share of setbacks. When Omar Holness broke onto the scene as captain of the national under-17 team, he was one of a few players who were earmarked to make the transition to the senior team. He led the team to the FIFA Under-17 World Cup in 2011, where he caught the eyes of several scouts throughout. It was one of those eye-catching moments which led to him being given a trial with Fulham, who were in the English Premier League at the time, but things didn't go the way he planned. It was the first ACL that I had, you know, I was on the brink of something special and ACL blew on me, you know, this was 2011, right after the U17 World Cup. And contract negotiations turned into, well, you know, come back, come back when you're healthy. And I guess you just have to be mentally strong and, and take it as a 17-year-old youth turning 18, you know. Um, but you just take it on the chin and you continue, you just move. Typically, Brian, to be honest, I, I try not to look back. Um, I look forward. I think when you do look back, it's to see how far you've come. And that's what I, that's what I try to do. Things seemed to be back on track for Holness when he was drafted by Real Salt Lake in the U.S. Major League in 2016. But again, disappointment followed. Super Draft, Real Salt Lake, select from the University of North Carolina and a member of Generation Adidas, midfielder Omar Holness. This guy's been on the uh, Jamaica national team. He's seen some senior level stuff played in the Gold Cup. With the, he was on the team with the Gold Cup that finished second to Mexico. How important is that stepping into Major League Soccer? Yes, yeah, so actually I'm a professional debut um, while I was in Salt Lake. You know, I fell down on the field and it was a very emotional um, period for my family, for myself. You know, it, it was just a, one in, a once in a lifetime thing. You know, it hasn't happened to me ever since, but I fell down on the field, I seized up, and you know, ever since, I don't remember before or after, I just remember waking up in the hospital. And um, one of my, my mates saying to me, yeah, you had, you had a seizure on the field. To this day, I don't remember anything. In this game, when people fall, and fall down on the field, it's 50-50, it's whether you go wake back up, whether you know, or you transition. But you know, I was fortunate to be able to continue my career after that. Um, but certainly, it put things into perspective. You know, somehow I did overcome them, and. I started to put things into perspective, especially with COVID. I thought, you know, finishing my degree was, you know, at the top of the list. Um, you know, when I fell down on the field from that seizure, I started to, you know, think about what life truly, what life truly is and what it means. Um, and for me, you know, how can football impact my life? And for me, that was, you know, can football create a pathway for me to, you know, get a degree, get a master's degree, have some investments. Um, and so far, two out of those three, you know, I have accomplished. I think the only thing now I need to, to do is to get that master's degree. No, I haven't really asked why me. I try not to feel sorry for myself um, because injuries are a part of the game. And anybody looking at this or, or looking at this interview now, you know, everybody has something that you know, they go through. And for me, it's just injuries. Um, it's just how you overcome them. Whether it be on the field, off the field, you, know, you, you, you look at the mistakes that you've made and you can try and you know, move past them and learn from them. Yeah, 
I, to be honest, I love this game. I love football, Brian, and I just chaos myself without it, you know. Um, no matter how many injuries that I have, I still want to either play or be in football in some capacity. You know, I was talking to my grandmother the, the other day and she has said to me, when you going to get a real job, this, that, you know, you know, in the older generations is nine to five is everything. So oh, you just uh, mash up yourself and play this game and you still uh, go back and I said, Grandma, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. No matter how much injuries I get, no matter what. I just love the game. I love being a part of it. Holness is currently living in England, where he has played a couple of seasons of non-league football. My wife and I are based in the UK, um, in Bristol. My last season ended while I was at Bath City, but um, I took up a coaching stint in the US for the, the the last part of last year whilst finishing my um, undergraduate degree at North Carolina. It was after my season in Philadelphia. Um, I was at Bethlehem Steel, which is now Philadelphia Union 2. You know, the prior year I had torn my ACL at, at RSL and, you know, I then moved on to Philadelphia Union 2 whilst rehabbing from that ACL. And it was there that I just kept re-injuring, getting re-hurt. You know, my meniscus re-tore about two times. I had to go under the knife again and again. And at that point in time, you know, I just said, you know what? My life's passion in football is to play in England. So I just packed my bags and I moved to England. I never had anything, I just, I just packed my bags. And at that time, my, my girlfriend, which is now my wife, you know, she lived in England, so. I decided, you know what, why not? And I, I just did it. And Darlington came and you know, they, they said, you know what, we want, to, we, want to, we want you. We want to see you. So I went up there and the rest was history. I just continued playing and I was enjoying it. I was loving football again. And I think for me, that was most important. The lower leagues of, of football in England is literally not about the money. You're playing for the love of the game. Although there are teams that play, that pay good salaries in the lower leagues in England, um, I do believe though that if, if you want money, then you strive to either go to the US or higher leagues in England. That, that, that would be my, my, um, my recommendation. Now, if you do want to go to England, as a youngster in the lower levels or the lower leagues. There, there, there are scouts at every game, I can tell you that. There are agents at every game. And if you do well, or when you do well, you will move up. And that is, that is, that is 100%. Five members of that under-17 team, including Holness, went on to get senior caps for Jamaica. Not bad when taking into consideration that teams like Argentina have produced only two, England four, USA two, Germany one and Brazil one in Marquinhos. I mean, listen, football is a very, very competitive sport. Um, I think it's important for us to understand that Jamaica were, we're not very respected around the world because of our ranking, because of our inability to qualify for a World Cup you know, in the past, since 98. So making that trans transition becomes even more difficult when we're in that position. And you alluded to it earlier that even the top nations in the world, you have youth players like maybe one or two that transition from U17s into the senior, senior team. So I mean, the fact that we're in the USL um, fighting, hunger still, I think is, 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 is a good thing if we can continue to build our reputation um, and set a pathway for younger generations to, to grow into and become more than what we were, I think that is, that is a win. In Jamaica, in Jamaica, I think our youngsters are blinded from the truth and the reality of what professional football is based on what they see on the television. They see Messi, they see Cristiano, they see you know, Neymar, and they have social media, so they see all of the nice things that, you know, footballers have, but I don't believe they know what it takes to get to that point. 
So I think instilling that into the youngsters, firstly, is immense and is in incredibly important. Holness has since started his coaching license as he prepares for life after football. There are a lot of things in it that you know you never you wouldn't really think about. You wouldn't you wouldn't necessarily you know translate from playing a game into coaching. And I thought it was very rewarding. Um, you know, just your, your communication, the language that you have to use. Um, yeah, it was very, very knowledgeable. And you know, one would think that after playing, playing for how many, however many years, it would be, it would be a piece of cake. But when you have 20 youngsters in front of you, you have to deliver a message or deliver instructions on what to do. It can be very difficult and very challenging because you think back of when you were a player and coaches were in front of you, the detail that, you, that they have had to have you know, for you to then go into the session and, and execute, you know, you have to be very detailed. And it was very rewarding to learn more. And I, and I, and I look forward to, to continuing that learning journey. You know, I always want to, 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 to be the best at whatever I set out to do. So, I mean, even coaching, I mean, I'd love to coach in the Premier League in the MLS. And I know that 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 um, that takes a lot of work, but I'm, I'm willing to, to 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 work towards it. Holness tied the knot in 2021 with his high school sweetheart. Since then, it's been lovely. Um, my high school sweetheart, she went to Ireland. I went to Wilmers. I met her in third form, and you know we've been going ever since. That's yeah, man. So I have a, I have a queen and. For me, for any footballer, I'd, I'd, I'd definitely say, yo, settle down early if you can and, and really focus on what's most important, which is your career. He was a main, main reason why I, you know, remain level-headed um, and the reason why I moved to England. Um, but certainly, I'd, I'd definitely recommend that, you know, ballers, young ballers especially, um, find the one that's right for you and, and settle. And everything is difficult, um, but it's important to just, you know, um, roll with it, you know, have your woman there by your side. Um, you know, it, was, it wasn't always, you know, rainbows with us and it wasn't always happy, but we came back together. Every time that we separated, we came back together. Um, and yeah, you know, she's my rock. Holness is now back in England where he'll look into the offers that are on the table from the USA and the UK.